First leg of the triple trio, then race uh, number four. No jackpots uh, this week, but a competitive start as it always is to uh, the TT. E Master heads them off the inside gate for Vincent Ho and Casper Fans. Harmony in a home, third on debut, course and distance. Down the field, last time out at Chartin. Golden Glory, last start, course and distance, when a compassion star. Course and distance, when a two starts back, runner up last time out. Melbourne Hall, they try the hood and the pacifies for the first time. Victory Mastery was fifth at big odds behind Amazing here last time out. And Bella Baby makes his happy. Valley debut. He'll jump from barrier number three. E Master and Golden Glory are the horses that uh, have been up at Chung Fa within the uh, the last month. Having a look at the speed here, again, of Gary, he's fairly reliable in terms of what he does. He'll go forward with the Compassion Star, who I don't think will force the issue too much. Uh, you've got Winner's Heart, he's fairly reliable in terms of what he's done through his short career so far. The question mark maybe is on the horse. Out wide there, number 10, all times grateful. He's got the blinkers going on for the first time. They could opt to go forward to avoid a, a wide passage, or they could be conservative with him. Chad Schofield rides for Dennis Ship. You can see the horse here, Harmony and Home. Now, he's only had the two starts. His first start at Happy Valley was really good. He then went to Chartin, and uh, now he comes back here to... Um Happy Valley, so he goes nice. He's the one in the black saddle cloth there with the yellow uh, numbers. Compassion Star, he's been in great form recently since he's gone to Manfred Mann. Zach Pert on the board, gets on well with the horse and a couple of even sectionals for him as he comes down, does Compassion Star. The other one here, Melbourne Hall, just a nice quiet workout for him as he comes down. Now, he's staying at 1,200 metres. He has run third over that course and distance here with Matthew Poon aboard previously, and he looks going well. All right, we'll have a look at Melbourne Hall um, in a moment or so. Let's start off with Compassion Star and uh, Daily Delight. Uh, this was Daily Delight on debut. I don't think it was too bad. Uh, they're chasing home, taking you further. Yeah, he's in really super form at the moment, is uh, Compassion Star. Zach Purton from a wide stall. I, I didn't think on this occasion he had too many excuses, uh, really. He had a pretty good run in transit. He's holding his form well, but there weren't too many excuses there. Daily Delight stayed on OK. He's got a, a bit of a tricky draw, so they're drawn side by side. Compassion Star 11. Uh, Daily Delight, uh, well, Compassion Star 10, Daily Delight 11. Yeah, Daily, Daily Delight, there was no market support from his 80 to 1 mm. chance there. Then it sort of ran above expectations a little bit. Mm. All right, see what he can do. But yeah, awkward uh, boxes, uh, Tom said. Golden Glory now winning form here, uh, beating Gunner. Yeah, and it was a nice, nice enough win here. Um, uh, Gunner lives up to his name here. But look, it was a good, good. Um, win from Golden Glory. Now, earlier on in his career, a couple of seasons ago, he did put two together. He went bang, bang. So uh, he has got the ability to do that. Hold his form is what I'm trying to say. He is a nine-year-old now, though. Yeah, we saw all best friends come out of that race and win since. I, I looked up Golden Glory. Sort of when he gets to this sort of mark, he typically does just struggle a little bit. Mm. All right, OK, that was his first win since um, May 2018 as well. Melbourne Hall. Now, we're looking at him at Sha Tin, um, but I think his... Uh, best efforts have been at Happy Valley. Yeah, and they've made a couple of gear changes uh, with him. He ran re really well at Happy Valley over 1,200 metres uh, a couple of runs ago behind Shusan. Ran into Happy Alumni last time out. I thought he looked quite one-paced on this occasion, really, over the final stages. Hood going on, pacifiers also on for the, the first time. I think once he gets up over more ground, he will be better, but he did show what he could do here at Happy Valley two runs ago. Yeah, exactly. And uh, look, he, yeah, I, I'm waiting, sort of waiting for a mile with him, but he's got the raw ability, I think, to run on into a place. OK, that's Melbourne Hall. One more to have a look at. Victory Master, who stayed on at massive odds. He was over 100 to 1 here. Um, did have Barry 11, so they went back. Amazing's the winner, but he stays on for fifth. Yeah, it wasn't a bad run, was it? It's probably one of the best ones that we've seen from this horse in his limited career so far. He's come up pretty short in the, in the market as well. There is a bit of support for him. Prior to this, he hadn't really done anything, as you mentioned. Uh, so maybe he has a horse on the improve. He's got barrier eight, which looks a little bit tricky. He only beaten three quarters of a length there, doing his best work late. Joe Marrera jumping on board mm. to this time round. So 4.1, I think you're definitely getting unders at the moment. Yeah, so he's the favourite. Again, the, looking at the place market, Compassion Star, money back at this stage. Yeah, it's a really open race, this one. I'm going to make my each way play in this. Horse called Bella Baby. Now, he's never, ever been to Happy Valley before. All his runs, well, main, most of his runs have been down the straight 1,000. But he always hits the line uh, really nicely. He's run a couple of good thirds down there at higher ratings. He comes in with a low weight. And I've always sort of thought to myself, I, I hope they try this horse at Happy Valley. And in this race, they have. So, um, look, I'm going to give him a chance at big odds. He's 17 to 1 at the moment. To beat Compassion Star, the old boy Golden Glory of Melbourne Hall. So in a really open race, we'll see. I think he'll get his opportunity each way the 12 for me. 
I'll stick with uh, Compassion Star here, horse number four for Zach Purton and uh, Manfred Mann. Uh, I think he's going well enough to uh, win this. Uh, tipping winner's heart again. They're taking the cheek pieces off. He was beaten favourite two runs ago behind Good For You. That was just fair last time out. I thought he might have, been, might have even been a bit disappointing, really, last start. Winner's heart. Melbourne Hall goes in. Thought E-Master could go in as well. He had excuses last time out. Blood in the track here. His last win came off 58. Here he is on a mark of 57 with gate one. So four, five, seven and one. All right, yeah, it's an uh, open-looking contest here, first leg of the year, the TT. Um, I think Winner's Heart can improve, excusing that last start effort over 1,000 metres, back up to 12. Neil Callan, Frankie Law from Barrier 5, he'll do for me there in race four.